Hey everyone, I'm back. Okay, so this is completely assembled now. The hinge assembly. I put the face plates and the front and rear face plate for the central core thing. Glued everything in place the way it was supposed to and it's it's working just right. And what I've been working on is fitting it onto the fuselage. Let me see if I can get this thing a little higher so you guys can see what it is I am doing. Okay. There you go. So this fits right here like that. And the other piece right here goes here and basically what I've been doing is sanding down this this piece here so it fits flush with the rear piece the way it was originally. Right now when I put the hinge assembly it's still down a little bit so I've been filing down gradually this so that it's flush once it is it'll be ready for assembly then I'll continue drilling windows I've fixed this one with the putty I'll continue continue drilling windows and then figure out how I'm going to isolate the light on the inside. Now this has a couple of pieces that will help with that but not too much. They sit here. Obviously I'll have to light block all this appropriately but one thing I notice is when the hinge assembly sits on here I'm going to get major light leaks through here if I try and light this on the inside. So I'm going to have to isolate this this area from where the hinge assembly sits because if not it's it's just gonna see this sits right here and if I try and light down here it all the lights gonna leak through here and this is gonna light up like a Christmas tree so that's not gonna look right so after I put those two pieces here I'll probably put some kind of a baffle or plastic barrier that'll keep the light contained in here because all the windows are going to be in here anyway and in the bridge area there's some windows there but those are different so those shouldn't be a problem uh, also the the back will be isolated which is good for purposes of lighting the engine so all the lighting for the engine will sit down here and there's plenty of space beneath for wiring to go through the hole of the the pole that uh, will hold the whole thing up on the base eventually so at least in that respect there's lighting now as far as what kind of lighting I'm gonna do well aside from the window lighting I, I already explained to you guys I'll be doing a couple of strobes on the on the top and bottom of the bridge area and then I'll be doing the engine lighting and of course the weaponry uh, so that's my plan so far and uh, after I'm done with that filing and I get it just the way I like it I'll continue working on Windows okay talk to you in the next one alright so more work proceeding on this I've done light blocking galore here let me show you the stuff that I've done here are multiple parts uh, that are in the process of drying I initially hit it with coat after coat of the black primer on the inside until no light shines through most of my parts are already appropriately blocked except these 
Uh, the rest then, after the black dries, I hit it with a white primer so it reflects the light better on the inside. I'm waiting for these to dry and I'll probably work on them tomorrow. As for the work that I'm doing here on the bench, so this is the upper hull. As you can see, I've got the hinge assembly mocked up there and as you would expect there's going to be monster light leaks through here and all through this area because there's spaces in between unless you do something about it now the windows on here are going to be illuminated as well as the ones here and the rear portion which will have the impulse and warp engines will also have to be boxed off because it's going to leak like a sieve so you don't want any light leaks so what do we what do you do well obviously some kind of a light box or partition has to be created and that's exactly what I did took a piece of plastic trimmed it to size and shape just thick styrene plastic and I painted the back in black so it's light blocked and the white portion goes towards the light and it fits right there. I'll glue it in place and that should provide much improved light blockage. Uh, I will probably use putty in the edges to completely block it once it's glued and dried. I could use tulip paint but that takes longer to dry and I like the putty. It, uh, it, it blocks very nicely and also provides uh, uh, a nice seal and uh, better structural integrity as it were. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll do that here and I'll have to do it in the back too once I add the rear portion and, and work on the engines. Um, the pole comes, when you, when you add the uh, bottom part, the pole comes up around here so that's where all the wiring is going to go through. It'll come in and I'll thread lighting towards the front which will also have to have some some kind of separation between the windows and the strobe that I plan on putting. The strobe I've already created a little hole where I told you I would. Right there as you can see. There. And I'll use uh, 0.75 fiber to um, to create my strobe the point five the point seven five fits very nicely through the hole It did before. Maybe now with the uh, primer it's having some trouble. Ah, there we go. Oh. Okay, I'm blinded here. Let me wear something that allows me to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I think the primer. There we go. Yeah, that fits nicely through there. So what I'll probably end up doing, which I've done in other builds, is I will just chop off a little piece of fiber optic and mushroom one end and place it there like an LED type thing and then glue um, glue an SMD on there then somehow isolated. I don't know if I will be using tulip paint over it because SMDs the tulip paint creates a short between the two leads and it shuts off so I'll have to figure something else out but definitely whatever I use there if I'm gonna have a local light there is gonna to have to be isolated from the rest of the lights of the windows it's either that or thread the fiber optic someplace else where you can have the blinking LEDs 
or SMDs and that's going to be kind of a logistics nightmare. Um, of course an SMD would have to be a blinking one. I'm not sure. I don't think I have any of those or if they're even made but LEDs they do have blinking ones. If I use LEDs then I would I guess have to I'll take the fiber optic and extend it out. I'll figure something else, something out. Um, the strobe on the top and the strobe on the bottom will have to both blink at the same time. So either I'll slave one to the other if I use blinking LEDs or put the two fiber optics to one LED that's a blinker or if I use SMDs I'll have to isolate them and slave them to one another if, if there's such a thing as blinking SMDs. I don't, I'm not sure if I've seen any of those. Anyway, uh, some logistical issues with the kit, but that's what makes this interesting. Okay guys, see you on the next one. Alright, so I'm back and I have glued the partition and tested it for appropriate light blocking. It was primered black on this side as you might recall. I, um, I sealed the edges with putty as you can see to seal around there so that I wouldn't get any light leakage and I have glued the parts that are supposed to go there on here these have been light blocked on the other side first with black primer until they were completely opaque and then white primer so that the lights that I put in here are going to be very reflective um, I will test it again to see if I get any light leakage along these seams I expect I'll probably get some and that can be fixed either from here or from the inside. It'll be easier through here. Uh, probably with some putty that can be sanded in until it's it's opaque. I have to wait for it to dry. Uh, I've, I used uh, standard uh, testers red tube which is an old classic. I use it for all my plastic builds. On this tip here I, I use CA glue with rapid uh, zip kicker to make it stick quickly because it was poking up a little bit despite my having sanded the partition it was still pushing a little bit and I wanted to be as flush as possible. This part will sit on top of this one just so that's how it's supposed to go as you can see so it's coming together. The lateral strips, I have them drying back there. Uh, I've primered them several times to light block them as well. And it's coming along. Uh, my next step now is to complete the light leaks along the edges here and then wire up uh, a set of three LEDs more than likely. Uh, or SMDs in a strip to put them in here so that they they provide the light for this segment. That'll provide the light for all the all the windows. And I'll look and see how it looks. I'll probably dull down the windows with some canopy glue, which I will use in the windows and let them dry so it becomes translucent. And that way it'll dull down the uh, the light. It won't look as shiny, but it'll look like windows. Okay, so that's my next step. And then I'll have to work out the lighting on the, the head and the two strobes, which is still something I am fermenting in my brain. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that, but I'll figure something out. Anyway, see you soon. All right, so that's the first set of lighting for the windows. As you can see, it works great once it's sealed up and I have put the canopy glue for the windows. 
it'll illuminate a lot better. It doesn't need to be super bright anyway, it's not supposed to be. Okay, onward.